Daredevil is being taken off of Netflix, and here's why it's actually a good thing. As always, I'm Yanni from Yanni's Nerdverse, and today, let's talk about this big MCU news. So after Spider-Man No Way Home, people were ecstatic that Charlie Cox was back as Matt Murdock, aka Daredevil, in the MCU. But it also raised a lot of questions as to whether those shows, and in general, that whole universe, is canon or not to the MCU. But today I've got some big news that points in that direction. It's been announced that all the Marvel Netflix shows are going to be taken off of Netflix on March 1st. That is Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, Defenders, and The Punisher. Those are all leaving Netflix on March 1st. You will no longer be able to watch them. Now, people are panicking, saying, oh my gosh, I love these shows. How am I going to be able to watch them? Well, don't worry. What's happening is that Disney is regaining the rights to those characters in general and just they have the shows now. They are Netflix made shows, but because of loopholes and legal system, technically they own the characters, so they own the rights to the show as a whole. And I anticipate though, in a couple months, we will find out where the new home to these shows are. If you ask me, it's either going to either Hulu or Disney Plus. Now, depending on where they go, depends on whether or not are canon. And this is a problem that has gone back to even when these were on Netflix. Because the whole idea of whether these shows are canon or not, I've always said they're not because their home is on Netflix. And that just goes to the business side of things. Disney prides itself on being this huge connected universe for the MCU, that all these movies and shows are connected in every way, shape, or form, yada, yada, yada. They wouldn't make a show, a part of the MCU, that you'd have to watch in the future going on, that was on a different platform that they also didn't get any money from. It just doesn't make any business sense to say, oh my gosh, you need to watch these shows to understand the future movies, but we're not making any money from you going to Netflix. So it doesn't make any sense. And that's primarily why I think they haven't connected these shows back again because there's no monetary reason for them to do that. However, now they own the rights to the shows again, they're going to put it on a platform where they can make the money again. That is Disney Plus and Hulu, because yes, Disney actually does own Hulu. So whether they go to which platform, though, tells me whether or not it's going to be canon. And that being, typically what's been happening is that the non-canon Marvel gritty dark shows are usually on Hulu. And these are not canon to the MCU. That's like Runaways, that's Cloak and Dagger, great show, go watch it if you haven't seen it, and stuff like that. So. The problem is, of course, that these shows are super dark. Daredevil is 10 times more violent than anything we've seen in the MCU. And it depends on whether the MCU is ready to tackle these darker themes. Now, we know with Moon Knight coming out, they say it's going to be super dark and brutal because the character in the comics is super dark and brutal. If it does deliver and it is super brutal, I would say there's a good shot that these are going to be put back onto Disney+. Plus. And thus, of course, is the main idea is that don't worry, you're going to be able to watch the shows on Disney Plus or Hulu within the coming months. I'm sure they're going to announce it. That's not confirmed, but it just makes a lot of sense. So don't worry. I'm, I anticipate by the end of the year, they're for sure going to be on. And additionally, the character of Matt Murdock and Jessica Jones are both rumored to be in the She-Hulk show. So of course, if these characters are canon, or even just they have the characters there, they're not going to want you going to Netflix to figure out the backstory of these characters. They're going to want you to go to Hulu or Disney Plus where they can make money. And so if, if Matt Murdock is back in his Daredevil costume and Jessica Jones shows up for whatever reason, they're going to want you to go to Hulu or go to Disney Plus and watch those shows as well. And this is why this is such great news. And this also leaves the potential to be getting season four and season three of all these Netflix shows. And that's because they're going to be owned by Disney again and they're going to be making money off of these future seasons. So all that together, both getting future seasons and making them canon is why this is such great news. Do not worry. Yes, for a couple of months, we're not going to be able to watch these amazing shows, but they're going to be put back on Disney owned platforms and we're going to be able to watch them and they're probably going to be canon and connected to the MCU finally. So don't worry about anything. We're going to suffer for a couple of months, but we're going to benefit it from it so much in the future. We could be getting more Daredevil seasons, more Jessica Jones seasons, Iron Fist, hopefully better, Luke Cage, Punisher, who knows? As of right now, two of the actors are already confirmed to be back. So I would imagine that in the future, they're going to try to bring back all these Netflix actors. Some don't want to return already. Some are very eager, but nothing has been said to be in development. But I digress. Essentially, 
all this news is great. It's probably some of the best news we could have gotten for the Netflix Marvel Universe and the fact that we'll be connected to the MCU in the future. That's all I have for you today, just a quick little summary, and I wanted to ease people who are panicking, freaking out that they're not gonna be able to watch these amazing shows. I'm actually currently in a Daredevil rewatch, and I was gonna rewatch Jessica Jones again. Looks like that's gonna have to be put on a slight hiatus, though. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm gonna be covering more Batman and DC stuff because we got a lot more of that today. So I do hope you stick around. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.